This is like the first time I've ever done an official intro with like my makeup done, I'm pretty sure. So that's amazing, literally insane. Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial on this look. And today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty, so thank you guys for sponsoring this video. So this video is kind of going to be a get ready with me mix with the tutorial because I don't want to be talking the entire time. So I'll see you guys when I look like that. So not like this. Okay, I'm cold. So I'm wearing a tank top. And it has rainbow on it. But you wouldn't know because you can't see it. Anyways, okay. Future me says bye. Hey guys! <laughs> I did this and now I'm gonna do the other eye. I did this one off camera to see kind of what I was gonna do and I figured it out. It took me too long, but I figured it out. So now I'm gonna do this eye. It's gonna be a different color. Um, stay tuned to find out what color it is. You're gonna find out really soon because I'm literally about to do it. For this eye, I should probably explain what I used for that since I did that off camera. So for the purple side, I used the Blush Try Blossom eyeshadow palette. I used these. And these and I also used the certified dynasty palette for this dark purple I love makeup so much and like I haven't really gotten into it again in a while just because I've had work and school but even before that like in the summer I really didn't try it either because I just got really really sad and I miss it because I'm trying to like push myself to do more looks because I miss being really creative with it and stuff I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, but I like filming get ready with me more because I don't feel bad about talking so much because it's kind of the point of them so that's why I wanted to like combine the two. Also the sun's coming in, I'm so sorry. Where's the sun? Well, obviously it's there. I don't know how to cover it. Oh, I just did. <gasps> Dang it. How are you guys? I miss you guys a lot. I always say that I'm so repetitive, I cannot stand it. Like, I'm the most repetitive person ever and I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it. This is cute! I'm excited! Hopefully I finish before the sun goes down. That would so suck if I didn't do that. I was gonna do green on this side instead of blue just because my eyes are blue. So I was like, it'd be kind of weird if I did blue purple and then this is blue and that's blue and then so much blue. But I didn't have a uh, lime green mascara, so blue it is. I think all I do is c cool colors for looks, basically. I used to use a lot of orange, but I almost always use orange with like blue, so I never don't use cool colors. And people are gonna be like, oh my god, you have more vibes for this. And I've noticed that people get really upset when people say that using jewels and stuff is like inspired by euphoria the show which is really good amazing i love it um people get really upset they're like oh that's editorial <laughs> but people that didn't do editorial makeup before they're gonna be technically inspired by euphoria and they're gonna say euphoria inspired because they watched the show and then that made them want to do it so technically it's euphoria inspired i don't know people get mad at silly things I just was thinking of that because I've seen a lot of people get really upset like yes it's editorial and yes it's been done before but maybe they didn't know that anyways also with these on my eye it's so hard to like open my eyes completely it looks definitely smaller than that one it's like it can't open all the way this eye is going by too fast my other one took way too long so I'm kind of getting nervous like something has to go wrong kind of sad because this year I couldn't fit an art class into my schedule because I'm doing cosmetology and that's like taking up all of my electives and I loved art and I'm trying to do it still on the side and I'm still gonna try to go to vase which is an art competition I'm trying to figure out what to start drawing for vase because I'm probably just gonna do like a portrait of somebody but I don't know who to draw and it's making me nervous. 
Last year I did a portrait of myself, but I didn't even think it was gonna go to vase. It was just for like an art project because I was in art last year. Now I'm at a loss of ideas. Don't look at my eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the sponsor for this video. Spoiler alert, I know I'm not finished with my eyeshadow yet, but yeah, just ignore that I'm finished and keep watching after I talk about this amazing brand. <laughs> okay. As you guys know, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty, and I just kind of want to talk about them for a bit. Ah! I have them right here, my shampoo and conditioner. This matches my eyeshadow. That's cute. It has my name on it. Anyways, okay. Just kind of talk about hair for a bit. So a few things that I look for in hair care are just kind of like products that are really simple and easy to use. Like I don't like having to use a lot of products, so I like having a simple hair routine. I like to find brands that are vegan and cruelty free as well. But I also like having natural ingredients when all of the ingredients are natural in the Function and Beauty products, and they're also animal friendly. I love these products because it's customizable to you, and that just makes me feel special. Like it literally has my name on it, and that just makes me so excited. Like, how am I gonna get excited about shampoo? I don't know, but I do, especially with this. Like, this makes me excited. I've seen differences in my hair a lot. My hair is a lot less frizzy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not up. It's just a lot more tame. My hair isn't really curly, but it's wavy slash curly, and my waves aren't as frizzy, as you can tell from here. For the shampoo, I just got the purple shampoo because my hair is platinum, and for the conditioner, I chose seafoam green. I chose eucalyptus mint for the scent, and it smells so good. Like, it smells so good. I'm gonna show you what the hair quiz looks like so you know what kind of questions they ask you and stuff like that and how you can customize it to your own hair needs. Basically fill out a two minute-ish quiz about your hair, what your color and fragrance preference is and what your hair goals are and what type of hair you have. It's just really hard for a lot of people to find shampoo that works for their hair but Function of Beauty literally like fixes that because it's for your hair needs. There's also no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. I had to read that because I didn't know how to pronounce it. I knew if I tried to memorize it, I wouldn't have remembered how to say it, so. They also come with pumps, so it's really easy to use. Yeah, it smells so good, like I cannot get over it. My body wash is eucalyptus too. I smell like a eucalyptus queen. So if you guys want to start using Function Beauty, you can use the link in my description for 20% off your first order. So yeah, thank you again, Function Beauty, for sponsoring this video. I have TikTok songs stuck in my head. I've been watching TikToks just because I've been so sad. I have little snippets of songs stuck in my head and it's so aggravating. Like I have separate parts of different songs in my head. The one where it's like, I need therapist, I'm a hurt you. Million dollar Denny, and then like annoying songs over and over in my head. It's getting dangerous, like I might go insane. Also, I'm seeing a new therapist now. The song reminded me to tell y'all that because they said I need a therapist and I do and I have one now. Well, kind of. I saw her once. Anyways. So I just realized there's a way better way to do the lid. Like I should wipe off the dry, um... Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I Wait, it's boy I wanna know. What did I do? I don't know why I did that. Finished blending this. It's a little harsh, but it's whatever. Also, I set this with just a white eyeshadow from the Blush Tribe palette. So now time for the glitter. Or sparkles, whatever, whatever. For the sparkles, I'm just using these basic crystal ones. These are the pink ones I have, but they're just these. I got them from Michaels for like $5, I think, because they were on sale. I just put some lash glue on the bottom of it, or the back of it, and then I put it on my eyelid. For this look specifically, I'm doing like a bunch of them in the beginning and then they're gonna fade out. This one's probably gonna be better than this one and look more like it's supposed to because this is the first try and like I took stuff off and it was kind of a mess, but anyways. It's gonna be kind of tricky because they fall really easily. It kind of helps if you use tweezers, but I just put, lash well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Put that on there. I don't really wait for it to dry because there's not really a need for that. I'm using the Duo Lash Glue. I 
I got one down. Yay. I might add like purple ones at the end, but we'll see how I feel. Benny, how you feel? I feel great. And then how you feel? Feel like a million dollar Denny. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Also, I hate the sun. I almost referred to it as the light earlier. Like I forgot what the sun was called. It's whatever. And I'm also trying to make sure that I'm leaving room on my lash line for my lash band for the lashes I'm gonna put on. Did y'all see that? Because I saw it. This is the worst day of my life. I tend to like compare myself to a bunch of people and when I see really talented people on like Instagram that do really good like eye looks and all of that, I'm always like, oh my gosh, I might not even, I shouldn't even try because they're so good at it. But sometimes I forget that I'm good at it too. I mean, everybody's style is different. I ought to be more proud of the stuff I do just because I do good things, you know? Like, I used to think I was like really untalented and compared to everybody else, I just wasn't good enough. But like, that's not true. Everybody's good in their own way. Also, this is so therapeutic, just like putting on these rhinestones and organizing them on my eyelid. I have to say. No, that one's gonna give me a hard time with my lashes, but I placed it really good and I'm not moving it. This is extravagant. Like this is a good extravagant, extrav extrav ex extravagant. That? Yeah. It's so extravagant. I've only done blue and purple looks. That's annoying, I'm sorry, but they're pretty. So, you're welcome at the same time. And then I think I'm done with this eye, and then I'll add purple ones on the other eye. See, that's pretty. Also, I never throw these away. I'm always curious as to if people throw the, the thingies away once they use them, but in case y'all are wondering, I don't. I'll do one more at the end. So I'll take this one off on top of it. Sorry, sis, you didn't make the cut, but they're so pretty. This kind of looks chaotic. Me talking about how good it looks and it honestly doesn't even look that good. It just is really shiny. <laughs> Anything shiny I like, so I automatically think it's good. But she looks like a miss. Oh, it's really pretty in the sun. If that sun goes down, I'm gonna kill it. Okay, I'm done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes and then I'll be done with my eyeshadow. Technically, almost, kind of. I'll show you what lashes I'm using. I'm using the rosebud lashes in the style Angel. I need to buy more though, because these are like broken, but I'm gonna use them anyway, because I do GAF. May look like a mess, but I look like a sparkly mess, and that's all that matters. And I'll probably look better with lashes, maybe, hopefully. I almost looked in my lash case for a mirror, so that's how I'm doing. Oh, I didn't put mascara on, what an idiot. Oh my gosh, I better do it before this dries. Ew. That lash glue is so jank. I don't even know if that's the right context for that word. I'm gonna go pee and do my other lash. I'll BRB. Okay, so I'm gonna do my face makeup really quickly. I'm gonna turn my battery and then once it's charged for a while, I'll refilm or continue filming. Okay, so that was it for this video. I know, I have face makeup on and I'm done with my makeup. <laughs> I skipped my face routine because I'm really scared of the sun going down. And when I was done, I went to go take pictures and the sun was covered by clouds, so. Uh, amazing. I film a video that's my base routine in depth because I get a lot of requests on that. And I always skip it in tutorials just because it's super repetitive and I'm already really repetitive, so I don't wanna like make it even more repetitive. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. I don't say that anymore because I feel awkward about it. But now I don't. Well, I just didn't just then, but now I feel awkward about it because I'm talking about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video and getting this point. Oh, I look cute. This is different. Oh, it's sparkly. Okay, bye. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. Should I do a zoom in? They're kind of different shapes, but I don't even care. I'm not even mad about it. I'm not even mad. I'm focused. I don't care. Bye.